Let's take a look at some of the risks that are involved when you're switching websites from one shopping cart to another. According to Google Webmaster Tools, they give us instructions and guidelines on what to do if you're changing an address. But in many cases, we're not changing the actual address, we're just changing shopping carts. So our domain name actually stays the same, but our URLs of our internal pages change. But regardless, Google wants us to 301 redirect all the old URLs to the new URL even though the domain name in our case would not change. If we click on the first guideline here, it says that if you're changing your domain, you must make sure that you follow these guidelines if you don't want to lose the ranking in Google. So they're saying use 301 redirect to permanently redirect all pages on your old site to your new site. They also mentioned to check both external links and internal links to your pages, so you should contact the webmasters of each site that link to you and tell them to switch the links to the new URL. They also recommend that you submit the new sitemap and make sure that all the 301 redirects are working properly. Then they give you the instructions on how to do the 301 redirects. And it's fairly easy if you're switching actual domain addresses because then you can just take all your old pages and put a 301 redirect to your new domain name and problem solved. But what happens when you try to change shopping carts and keep the same domain name, there is no way that you can get the 301 redirects to work properly unless the shopping cart provider actually builds a module that would do the redirects or you would actually have to program this on the IIS level or whichever system you're using. In our case, in Shopping Cart Elite, it's IIS. And whenever traffic comes in, it looks up to see if that traffic needs to be redirected anywhere or not. So just to show you what kind of risk you face if you don't do the 301 redirects when you're changing shopping cart providers, let's just consider this. This domain name, autoaccessorystore.com, is approximately nine years old. And if we check how many links are coming to our website, we have a total of 7,774 links coming to our homepage and a total of 10,500 coming to our domain name. Now, notice that there are many links that are coming to other URLs besides the homepage, meaning that if you don't save this address, when you're changing your shopping carts, this traffic and these links are going to be completely lost. So for example, because you have 341 links pointing to this single page, you might be getting a ton of traffic to this page because it's going to be ranked for the term TYC Lights. But as soon as you change shopping carts and this URL is lost, you will no longer be ranked for this keyword. Thus, you will no longer get this traffic that you used to get. So you can only imagine what will happen if you lose over 2,500 links because you changed your shopping carts. Obviously, you're not going to see the same ranking you're used to. So you will retain the links that are pointing to your homepage, but you will not retain the links that are going to all these different URLs. In addition, in my internal links, I have over 300,000 internal links that are possibly ranked in Google. Now, once you do the change, if you don't do the 301 redirects, what's going to happen is Google will assume that your websites are temporarily offline, and they will assume this between two and three months. That means that just because you changed shopping carts and added these new content pages, if those new content pages are going to conflict with the old content pages, the old content pages will still take priority until they get manually de-indexed. And even when they get manually de-indexed, your new pages are going to kind of start from scratch as far as ranking is concerned, and they will have to go and climb up the ladder all over again. So the chances of you losing all of your traffic in the first one to two months is very high unless you do the 301 redirects correctly. So if you're depending on traffic you are already getting for your existing domain, you must make sure that your shopping cart provider is going to have 301 redirect and 404 engine in place so they can take all of your URLs and import them into the shopping cart and redirect them to the appropriate pages 
on your new shopping cart website. Now Shopping Cart Elite has a 301 and a 404 redirect engine in place and you can watch the next tutorial to see exactly how it would be used.